Hey everybody, Take It Easy Jono here from Elder Trolls Gaming. Today I'm going to show you this deck that I made in Queen's Blood, which is a mini game in the Final Fantasy VII a Rebirth game. I am a huge fan of card games, Hearthstone, uh, Pokemon trading card game. I've played hundreds, if not thousands of hours of those games, so I'm pretty excited to show you this one. Let's get into the deck list. So this deck is based around the Joker card, which is uh, about replacing the cards on your board with new cards. And uh, here you can see Joker, when an allied minion is replaced or destroyed, then it increases the power by one of the Joker cards. So we have two Jokers in there, and the idea is to set them both up as soon as you can, and then lay all your cards down, and then start replacing them one after the other. And uh, I built it based on various cards here that you can see when destroyed when destroyed all these cards have synergy for when they are destroyed or replaced which the joker will take huge advantage of as you can see here destroy an allied card and replace it destroy an allied card and replace it replace an ally and raise the power etc etc so i'm going to show you a couple of these games that i stomped the ai with I mean, as hard as that is, really, but they are the maximum level of opponents that I have access to right now in the game. Stay tuned, because there's one game that I absolutely pummeled the guy. In this game, we get the Chocobo and a Joker right off the bat, which is massive for setup. This game is a bit closer than the other one because she does get a chocobo down, I believe, and she starts ramping up some of her cards, which I had to kind of fight a little bit, but it was cool. You can see here the opponent got the Chocobo down, which is a pretty strong card, and he ends up getting some pretty good value from it uh, coming up here, but I still end up kind of overpowering him, which just shows how strong this deck is. So here you can see my opponent now has no more slots, so they can no longer encroach on my board um, unless they're replacing their own cards. And now it's time to go to town on her. All right, here's the last game, guys. This one does not take very long, and it is an absolute pummeling of Bernard. Sorry, Bernard. Here, are we going to set up a two-spot in the middle slot there for when we pull a Joker eventually? You always want to have that two-bulb ready for him when he comes out. Here we pull the Joker. Uh, we have to pull him in the middle lane, actually, because of a misplay that I did on the turn earlier. I should have made it so that he gets played in the top or bottom lane because he gets more value. Here 
Here we're going to play our security officer on the right so we can set up another joker to his left in the top lane, which actually is huge value because it gives us a two spot on the bottom lane as well, which freezes him from playing any more cards unless they're replacement cards or destroy cards like he's doing now. But when he does that, it's buffing my jokers too. Sorry, Bernard. And of course, we could probably stop the game now, but where's the fun in that? And that's it. That's the end of the game. I can't play any more cards, neither can he. And we win with a decisive victory. Look at these jokers, big and buffed. If I'd had a chocobo on there too, it would be even more. Uh, but let me know in the comments, guys, if you have any decks that you've been playing with. I would love to try some more decks because uh, I really haven't experimented that much outside of this one deck because it's so effective. But let me know.